Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade cannolis in two different ways. One is baked and one is fried. And I'm even going to show you how to make your own cannoli tubes. So let's get started. You first need to prepare the ricotta for the filling. Most ricotta contains too much moisture and if you just use it in the filling it will be too runny and the filling will run out of the cannolis. So what you need to do is add the ricotta into a fine sieve set over a medium bowl to drain any excess moisture. You can use a cheesecloth if you have one, but if you're using a fine sieve you don't really need one. And you can see already there's liquid draining out from it. Then wrap it loosely in plastic wrap and place it into the fridge for 24 hours before you use it. The liquid drains very slowly, so you do need to give it some time. To make the dough, in a large bowl, add in the flour, sugar, cinnamon, and salt, and whisk them together until they're combined. Then add in the cold cubed butter, and use your fingers to rub the butter into the mixture until it's about the size of small peas. Try not to make it too fine. Then add in the eggs, vinegar, and cold water. Start with one tablespoon. Then mix them together until it starts coming together. Then use your hands to bring it together into a ball. And if it's too dry, add in more water, one teaspoon at a time. Then turn it out onto a lightly floured work surface. And knead the dough for five minutes. Then wrap it in plastic wrap and refrigerate it for 30 minutes until it's cold. While it's chilling, you can make your own cannoli tubes. To do that, we're using aluminum foil. Try and use heavy-duty aluminum foil because it's a bit thicker and stronger. So take a sheet that's about 16 to 18 inches long and about 5 to 8 inches wide and fold it into thirds then to get a smooth cylinder shape, wrap it around something that's a cylinder shape. I'm using a roll of plastic wrap. Then roll it up smaller and tighter to help keep it from unrolling. Then open it up until the cylinder is about a half an inch thick. And that's your DIY cannoli tube and feel free to make as many as you like. Once the dough is nice and chilled, remove it from the fridge and cut the dough in half so it's easier to roll out. Keep one half wrapped in plastic wrap and in the fridge while you're working on the first half. Then very lightly flour the work surface. This dough is not very sticky so you don't need a lot and roll out the dough until it's about 1 16th of an inch thick. It needs to be really thin. Then cut out 4 or 5 inch circles of the dough. I don't have a cookie cutter that big, so I'm just using the lid of a sprinkles container. Just use whatever you can find that works. Then use a fork to poke a bunch of holes into the dough so it doesn't puff up a lot. Then wrap it around the cannoli tubes that we made. And brush on a bit of egg whites to help them stick together. Try not to get it on the tubes or the shells will stick to them. And just do that for the rest of them. Then to fry the cannoli shells, heat a pot with about 2 inches of oil in it and heat it until it gets up to 360 degrees. You can use a candy thermometer if you have one. If you don't, I'll show you how you can tell another way. Then 
When you add a piece of the dough into the oil, if it starts bubbling and sizzling immediately, it's ready. So when it gets to that point, turn it down to a medium heat and work in batches and carefully add a few of the cannolis into the oil. Don't crowd the pan or it will drop the oil temperature. And fry them for about two to three minutes until they're golden brown. When they're ready, remove them from the oil, turn them vertically to drain any oil that may be in the tube, and place them onto a cooling rack set over a baking pan to drain any excess oil. Then continue doing that for the rest of the cannolis. And once they're cooled enough to handle, just slide the shells off the tubes, then leave them to cool completely. If you like, you can instead make cannoli chips, and you don't need the tube for that. So just roll out the dough and cut it into whatever shape you like. Fry them until they're golden brown, and place them onto the cooling rack set over a baking sheet and let them cool completely. For the baked cannoli shells, preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Then roll and cut out the dough the same way as before. And you don't need to poke holes into it because they won't puff up as much as the fried cannoli shells. Then lightly grease the cannoli tubes and wrap the dough around it. Brush on some of the egg whites to help them stick together. And do that for the rest of them. Then place them onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. And I'm just gonna use any scraps to make cannoli chips. And bake them in the oven for about 10 minutes until they're golden brown. When they're done, remove them from the oven and place them onto a cooling rack and let them cool until cooled enough to handle. Then slide the shells off the tubes and let them cool completely. Then to make the cannoli filling, remove the drained ricotta from the fridge. Then place it into a medium bowl. And use a paper towel to dry off any liquid that could still be on it. And add in the powdered sugar. And vanilla extract and mix them together until they're well combined. If you would like the filling to be smoother, you can add it into a food processor and process it until it's smooth. Or you can just push the mixture through a fine sieve if you don't have a food processor. Everyone has their own way of making cannoli filling. Some people leave it plain or add mini chocolate chips, cinnamon, grated orange zest, or candied orange peel. You can decide what you want to do. I'm choosing to leave it plain. Then add the filling into a piping bag or any plastic bag will do. And cut off the tip of the bag. And pipe the filling into each side of the cannolis. And if you like, you can dip each end of the cannolis into either chocolate chips, chopped nuts, melted chocolate, or melted chocolate and chopped nuts. Then sprinkle them with powdered sugar for the finishing touch. And for cannoli chips, just serve them on a plate and add the filling into a bowl and you just dip the chips into the filling and eat them. And that's how to make homemade cannolis. I hope you enjoyed this video and I have so many more on my channel so be sure to check them out and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.